Marks and Spencer has been at the heart of the high street here in Northampton since the 60s. But could this be the end of an era? This is one of a hundred stores M&S are planning on closing across the UK. As profits sharply fell again today, as many question whether the store still reflects its customers' needs. Take Leslie and Angela, who used to work at this branch. They were at the grand opening here in 1969. Nearly 50 years on, still the best of friends, but they can see why some have fallen out of love with M&S. We oh, get it, really. We are, we're disappointed. That they made the Peruna for um, the younger generation. To try but and get them in. To try and get yeah. the youngsters in. But it was people our age that were yeah. buying Peruna, really. Because yeah. um, we don't want to dress in the classic woman. We didn't want to look like our mums, did no. we? So, so, you know, it, I don't think shame. it was really aimed at the proper, the, the, the right people. M&S wants to close a third of its clothing and homeware stores by 2022. And while it costs to keep poorly performing stores open, it also costs to close them. That's knocked M&S's profits over the last year. Today, the boss admits the need to change the business has become urgent. You'll have seen in our results today, that we grew our online business by 5%, but that was behind the market. Uh, and it's vital that we now develop a really good digital proposition and take advantage of that trend to move online. Retail experts say M&S have been slow to keep up with online shopping and the store admits its website is too slow. Some say Marks and Sparks is now paying the price. Back here in Northampton and the big high street stores are becoming a thing of the past. A boarded up BHS stands just a shop away from the M&S they plan on closing. Do you think it caters too much for the older market? I think so, yeah. Not really my, because I haven't bought clothes from there in a long time, as many, I guess, underwear, things like that. Like. So you wouldn't shop yeah, there for clothes? Not myself, yeah. The youngsters are all right. They've got all these young, fashionable shops. Mm. But um, we're, as you can see, we're not so fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> we're both getting on and we like this sort of store. It's been coming. You know, you walk in there and the food's only he the one that's busy. There's nothing else anywhere. M&S was once a firm favourite, but in the digital age, as it disappears from some high streets, it now needs to get customers in store online. Minnie Stevenson, 5 News.